Bellbottom vs. Flare Jeans, Unraveling the Legendary Flare Showdown Welcome to my channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating history of bellbottom jeans and shedding some light on what sets them apart from their close cousins, flared jeans. So, grab your popcorn, sit back, and let's travel through time together. To understand the allure of bell-bottom jeans, we need to rewind to the 1960s and 70s, a time of revolution and self-expression. Hippie culture was on the rise, and fashion was no exception. Enter bell-bottom jeans, a style that quickly became synonymous with counterculture and a symbol of rebellion. During the mid-1960s, bell-bottoms emerged as a reaction to the prevailing slim-fitting pants of the time. Inspired by the naval uniforms worn by sailors in the 19th century, these pants featured a distinctive design, a narrow fit around the hips and thighs, with an exaggerated flare from the knee downwards. The wider flare allowed the pants to fit over bulky boots, a practical choice for sailors. As the hippie movement gained momentum, bell-bottom jeans transcended their military roots and became a statement of individuality, peace, and free-spiritedness. People were looking to break away from conservative norms, and bell-bottoms were the perfect way to express themselves through fashion. Now, let's talk about the key features that differentiate bell-bottom jeans from flare jeans. Flare size, the most prominent distinction is the size of the flare. Bell-bottoms have an extreme flare, with leg openings often reaching 22 inches or more, creating that iconic bell-like shape. On the other hand, flared jeans have a more moderate flare, typically ranging from 15 to 20 inches. Position of the flare The flare on bell bottoms usually starts from just below the knee, allowing the fabric to flow dramatically from the mid leg downwards. In contrast, flared jeans have a more gradual flare that begins from the upper calf or knee. Era and style Bell bottoms are firmly associated with the 60s and 70s, and they often feature bold, psychedelic patterns, tie dye, or embroidery, embracing the free spirited fashion of the time. Flare jeans, while sharing a similar flare design, can be found in various styles and patterns, catering to modern fashion tastes. Versatility Flare jeans have managed to adapt and remain relevant through the years while bell-bottoms have remained more of a vintage or retro style, often worn in themed parties, music festivals, or as nostalgic fashion choices. The popularity of bell-bottom jeans skyrocketed in the 70s, with iconic musicians and celebrities like Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, and Farrah Fawcett rocking this fashion trend. It became a symbol of an era that challenged norms and embraced a bohemian lifestyle. As with any fashion trend, the bell-bottom craze eventually faded in the 80s, giving way to new styles like skinny jeans and leggings. However, as fashion often does, the trend resurfaced in the late 90s and early 2000s, with a wave of nostalgia for vintage fashion. Bell-bottom jeans are more than just a pair of pants, they represent an era of change, revolution, and artistic expression. Their extreme flair sets them apart from their more modern and versatile cousin, the flared jeans. Both styles have their unique charm and place in fashion history. I hope you enjoyed this trip down fashion memory lane. If you want to see more vintage fashion content, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay groovy! Peace out.